be humble with your shit. That's all I'm saying. Be humble. Because you don't know what's going to happen. I like to introduce myself. My name is King. Churro. What's up, y'all? your boy, King Churro. Good morning. It is 6.43 in the morning on Saturday, February 5th. 2022 um i've been up since five this morning no i've been up since four o'clock this morning roughly about 405 or something like that Ooh, i already had a cup of coffee all right most of you know i get up at 3 30 in the morning so i slept in i'm on my way to go pick up some breakfast my wife is still asleep um she slept she slept in the guest room because i was just non-stop snoring last night um usually my wife feeds the dogs um eggs in the morning um so this morning neilani would not let up like she wanted to go to the hallway to sit in front of the door um of the guest room because that's where Melinda was sleeping last night or you know, all this morning pretty much. So I t- I kept telling her, nope, go lay down or come hang out with me in the man cave. I started to play PlayStation. <laughs> and uh, no, she wanted me to open the door to the guest room so she can tell Melinda that she's hungry. So I was like, I want Melinda to sleep in and, you know, get some rest or whatever. So... I went ahead and made the egg. We usually just cook up one egg and split it between the two dogs. And usually I give Neilani more of the egg because she's a bigger dog and uh, Papa doesn't really eat that much. So, um, anyway, so I'm headed to uh, McDonald's. So here's the thing. Here's a funny. Here's a funny story about that. So I let the dogs out. Right, there's something there in the backyard, and I walked into the guest room, and um, you know, Linda sleeping on her side, and I, uh, I put my hand on her butt, you know, like I just start filling up on her butt, and she, <laughs> I was like, hey, I just want to let you know, I'm gonna go get you some pancakes, and she's like, where are you gonna get me pancakes from? I'm like, nah, somewhere special, don't worry about it. I'm like, I'm just gonna go to McDonald's. And she's like, you jerk. <laughs> She likes the hot cakes, so and then I'm gonna get um the sausage egg McMuffins. So anyway, uh yesterday on route man, um I had hundred and sixty six stops. The route prior, so Thursday, right? I was in a Ram van, Dodge Ram van, and it sits up higher than the Ford Transits. So you know, it was harder on my knee, you know, I texted Mike, and I texted dispatch, I said, look, man, if I can get into a Ford Transit van from now on, um, you know, they just sit lower, it's easier on my knee, Mike was like, cool, we can do that, no problem, dispatch Danny, on the other hand, was like, giving me all kinds of justification as to why I may or may not have a Ford Transit Start going. We started talking about all sorts of different shit. It's 46 degrees outside, but any size iced coffee for 99 cents sounds good to me. This whole conversation about, you know, the drivers and, and what Amazon expects, all kinds of different shit. So, yesterday, when they gave me a rental, because they said that the, if you have a smaller route, then we'll give you a rental. Okay, I can, all the little justifications I can deal with, man. Well, I got a big-ass route yesterday, and I got a rental. I Not only that, but a rental Ram. Not a rental Ford, a rental Ram. And yes, we do have rental Fords, but no, they gave me a rental Ram. And then, apparently, while I was in that rental Ram, 
I only finished 39 stops within 5 hours and I didn't know. 39 stops within 5 hours is not good at all. So yeah, um, so 39 stops within 5 hours is not good. They want us to do 20 to 25 stops per hour and, um, you know, obviously Amazon saw that I was in the red and what dispatch Denny has been saying is if you're in the red, I'm going to, I'm, I'm not just going to rescue you. Meaning, you know, take 40 plus stops off your route. He's like, I'm just going to take your route. And that really gets to me because it's like he's talking with his britches up high. He's talking a big game. So, me being me, I call him out. He's like, all right, I'm going for Ray first. I'm coming to get Ray. You know, everybody's like, oh, you trying to light a fire in her ass? I'm like, nope. You can you can light all the fires you want, bro. This light, this fire that you light is not going to just, like, you, you know, you're not going to start a burn. You're going to start an explosion. Like, you want to take my route? Take my route. I don't care anymore, bro. I'm done. See, my biggest thing is, if you want to talk to me like you want all the smoke, I'm going to give you all the smoke. I'm going to give you the smoke. I'm going to give you the fire, the fury, everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like people who talk big in front of everybody and direct it towards me. Right? Unless I provoke you to do so, I don't stand, I don't I don't see no reason. And that's exactly how I feel he's been doing to me. Like he's every time he gets on this chat app or whatever, he, he jumps on that shit and jumps straight to me. Yeah, I don't like that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I may be slow on my routes. I am. I admit it. I've, I've said it in the past on here. I've said it in the past. I, I am slow. You know, I felt that Mike, my boss, was hoping I'd be some superstar and I'd be fast and I'd, you know, whoop, whoop, whoop. My boss gets mad sometimes. And you can tell he's a little disappointed that when he hired me, he thought I was going to be the superstar. And I'm not. And he's told me, he's like, the reason why I can't promote you is because your performance. He's like, I need you to know the job. I know the job. I'm just not as fast as everybody else. And that's fine. When I came back from injury, you know, obviously I'm still dealing with it, right? But his doctor, well, the doctor that they sent me to for the workman's comp, that workman's comp, not even a doctor, he's a physician's assistant, but whatever. Tomato, tomato, right? You know, that guy said, I didn't injure it on the job. He cleared me, said, you're not injured, even though I'm clearly going through the pain. And he even made it clear that I should go to the VA and get it checked out. But as far as workman's comp, he wasn't going to prove nothing. You know? So... When I got back, I pulled Mike to the side. I was like, look, guy, I'm cool, bro. I'm no longer going to pursue the dispatch position. I'm no longer going to pursue becoming a lead. I don't want none of that. Now, if Mike turned around and said, I'll make you a recruiter, I'm taking that, bro. I'll take it. I want to be a recruiter. But that's it. I don't want to do anything else. And the biggest reason why I told him I do not want to pursue any more, you know, the dispatch and, and the lead is because from what I'm getting from others, dispatch Denny doesn't want me in dispatch. And he doesn't want me as a lead. Nah, at the end of the day, man, it really doesn't matter to me, bro. It doesn't matter. I love Mike, my boss. You guys know that. I've said it, I've made it public to the world, I've announced it, that I love my boss, Mike. 
if I end up not working for his company anymore, Mike still has a place in my heart, bro. My heart. And Mike, I hope you're watching this and you know, bro, like it's not even, not, not, I'm not trying to kiss your ass. I don't need to. I don't need to kiss your ass. Bro, I don't need to kiss anyone's ass. But in my heart, you're a big dude, so that's a lot of space that you're taking up in there. <laughs> I just feel like dude's britches are way too high. And he also considers himself an unofficial manager, which kind of concerns me a little bit more because that just means that he's going to try to push his push more weight around and exert more of whatever the fuck he thinks he wants to exert. And yesterday he, out of, out of well, I had like 17 totes, I finished like four before he got to me. He took four. He did. He completed two. Gave me the remaining two. And then gave me all the overflow packages that he took from me. And then said I couldn't do any more because I got to get back to the station. I was like, well, why even take this many if you can only do so many? Why even bother me in my route or even talk all that shit on the chime? If this is all you can do, be humble with your shit. That's all I'm saying. Be humble because you don't know what's going to happen. And in this case, you were so confident that you're going to take away my route and blah, blah, blah. And you're, you're, you're telling people, basically you're using me as an example. And then come to find out you weren't going to do shit. Be humble. That's all I got to say. I'm home now. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. I got to feed my wife. Um, and then I'm just going to enjoy my, my weekend. And um, hopefully I can recover my knee, my feet, my back. Hopefully my wife doesn't have me doing a bunch of shit. I love y'all. It's your boy King Cho. Remember that you are loved. And be great every day. Peace out, y'all. Every day you wake up, you got a decision to make. To go right or left, up or down, right or wrong. At the end of the day, you make the decision. Nobody forces you. So make the right decision. Make moves. Set the goals. Stop making excuses, man. And if it look like a duck, walk like a duck, and sound like a duck, it's a duck. Stop guessing. Just do the right thing. You heard? You hear me? I love y'all. Stay positive. Love one another. All right. All right. <laughs> I don't want to go to work. I don't want to work tomorrow. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to work tomorrow. I just ain't trying to go to work. I don't want to work tomorrow. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to work tomorrow. Yo no quiero trabajar mañana. La estoy pasando super bien. Yo sé que esta noche va a ser muy larga.